Uh, yeah, I mean, it was one of the things that we talked about uh, just throughout the course of the year. Uh, Coach call, called it out. He, he told me, uh, like, almost toward the end of the season, he thought we were going to play him uh, in the Big East tournament, that we would get another shot at him. And, uh, you know, I think I think uh, not only me, but the entire team's just been looking forward to it because, uh, you know, like he said, they they, they put a pretty uh, pretty good beating on us uh, there at their place. So we're looking forward just to get back out there and compete and, uh, you know, uh, and, and come out with a different a different mindset defensively and come out and just try to uh, impose our will on them defensively and uh, foremost, and then we see how everything else just plays out. Okay, we're gonna do three more. Tara in the middle. Go ahead, Wes. It was an open question. We'll let you answer it. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, Neeks, my bad. Neeks, um, I've known Neek for a while. Four years, I lived with him, roomed with him on the road. He, he's changed a lot, and he's grown up a lot over these four years. And if he would have had this injury our freshman or sophomore year, I don't know if he would have been the same person that he is, but he's grown up, and he, he's pushing for us and for this team so much and it, it, it helps out a lot because he could easily be on the sideline you know sulking pouting being mad but he, he's not worried about his situation he, he still feels as much as part of this team as anything and our success is his success and that's that's how he feels and he keeps you know everything that he sees on the court i mean he he has great vision on the court and off the court it's even better he can really see what's going on and, and, and he tells us what he sees and and we all trust him you know from from his standpoint, from that standpoint, and he, he's bringing a lot, you know, just just being a part of it and, and keeping his head up and not worrying about his situation, staying in in this moment where we are right now. All right, in the middle. Probably. Um, I think ideally you'd like to have nine high major players, and then you probably have more alternatives. Um, I'm trying to figure out who I can sub rail for at the end, and uh, it was Rob Fozina. And so Rob did a good job. I don't think he turned it over. Yep, he did a good job. He played four minutes, and it's zeros all the way across. Um, with that being said, I think sometimes, uh, you know, the question from our guy here uh, talking about Villanova, the real, the, real, the real answer is this. We better beat St. John's, or that's the end of it. And so we've beat St. John's, and then over the next 24 hours, I guess it's 21 hours now, uh, we need to get our guys as best prepared physically and mentally for our next opponent. And whoever it is, I don't know because I don't pay attention, but whoever it is that we would play after Villanova, there's no need in talking about it because if we don't beat Villanova, tomorrow you guys will be asking me, why did you give up so many points in transition? Why didn't you block out? Man, they shot the ball really well. It was a replay of Villanova at Villanova. So let's just make sure that we do today, and I don't mean that in a condescending way, but we, we're we not a prophet, and we're not smart enough to think we're going to beat St. John's. St. John's had won four out of their last six. St. John's had played 12 games in the Garden. This was our first game in the Garden. So we're grateful for the win, and we'll get our guys something good to eat, and then we got to figure out how to give ourselves a chance, not to ensure it, to give ourselves a chance to beat all those guys at Villanova. Coach of the year, six man of the year, most improved player of the year, arguably the best guards in our league. They've got eight high major players and they all have a distinct role on their team. In the back, Roger. I think it was just the fact that we took them out of what they wanted to do. I mean, St. John's, they, they're, they're a hard playing team. And, you know, they pride themselves on their intensity and their work and all that. And that's the same thing we pride ourselves on. And, I mean, when they played their hand and we played ours, and we, we were just able to take them out of what they wanted to do. We were play, able to outwork them on both ends of the court. And that's, that's the story. Marquette, thank you. Thank you. Preparation process with our guys. We know we got a lot to learn and, and to get better. They've got veteran guys, seniors, and they made plays when we didn't. 
I thought we got some good looks early, and, and when we didn't capitalize on it, they, they really took advantage of it. Questions, please? Over here. Well, the score was the score was close, uh, thirteen six or five or something like that, and we had some bunnies, had some easy shots inside, and they just missed them, and we just missed them, and and then they came down, and, and really where they hurt us, they hurt us on the glass, and and you know usually we hurt other people on the glass.